As he moved through the centre, he engaged with about nine people. It is clear that during that engagement, he caused harm to those people, we believe, by stabbing them with a weapon he was carrying. A single unit officer, Inspector of Police, was nearby. as She confronted the offender who had moved by this stage to level five. As she continued to walk, quickly behind him to catch up with him. He turned, faced her, raised a knife. She discharged a firearm and that person is now deceased. Just my homie took about five gunshots went off. And um, as I was saying just before, it was very, really eerie. In there. there was a man coming up the escalator, another man at the top of the escalator in front of him was throwing something at him to keep him down. I saw the gentleman fall and then um, he's picked himself up and ran up the escalators. Yeah, there was just a scramble and, and, and th there, was just, there were just noises, that's all that happened near me. And um, someone was stabbed, someone just said someone's just been stabbed. I do not have information in relation to the offender. I do not know at this stage who he is. You would, be, uh, you would understand this is quite raw. Uh, inquiries are very new and we are continuing to make attempts to identify the offender in this matter. There's nothing that we are aware of at the scene that would indicate any motive or any ideology. So, so are you ruling out terrorism? We're not ruling anything out. Devastating scenes at Bondi Junction are beyond words or understanding. Australians will be shocked this evening. This was a horrific act of violence, indiscriminately targeted at innocent people going about an ordinary Saturday doing their shopping. Tonight, the first thoughts of all Australians are with the victims of these terrible acts and their loved ones.